this one. It has a private. So I was about to kiss the chair dream goodbye, but this place has a for free included. Hi everyone, we're here and we're going on our first venue tour today. You all ask for a lot of like wedding planning content and vlogs so I'm just trying to vlog the journey and take you along with us. So today is our first venue tour and it's the only one so far that we booked in LA. We're excited to see it, catch a vibe, see how we feel, see if we can envision it, see if it's within our budget. We have a lot of questions about like fees and other stuff just to get a better understanding. So I'm excited to see. Tomorrow we're going to two in San Clemente which have you ever been to San Clemente? Never. Never. We've never been to San Clemente, but there were a couple venues down there that um, caught our eye. So, we shall see. Let me know what other wedding content you all like. I don't know, and we will see you soon. Bye-bye. So, this is the parking situation. It's looking a little sketch, but I think that's just the, the nature of like downtown LA. How do you feel? I feel a mix of emotion. Really? Excitement. Stress. Stress. Because of your own thing. I'm feeling kind of nervous. I don't know. I just feel like I always leave things like, oh, I should have asked that. But I guess we could always ask. Um, yeah, I don't know. This month, kind of exhausting. This is the outdoor. Wait, is this it? I think it is. One single beige door. Oh, is it through there? Some people do like their ceremony and the outdoor place where the food trucks would go. Yeah, this should be it. home now and I'm just preparing lunch um, but I want to just share some like initial thoughts we had about the reverie. I think pros are that it's close to home and so um, guests wouldn't need to like book a hotel. They allow outside like catering and vendors which is really great. They have the flexibility for that. You can bring your own alcohol which is so much cheaper than some of the drinks packages that we've been quoted for at other venues. Um, we like like the cohesive layout of it um, and it just, it's nice and bright. Like for an indoor venue, it's nice and bright. And there's just a lot of, like a lot of flexibility um, and transparency. And we really liked Monica, the owner. She was very honest and just like answering all of our questions and even gave us additional things to look out for. Cons, I think we're not so into the area and the aesthetics and the vibe because I think we wanted a place like outdoors with some views and stuff and, um, it's just in like the middle of like industrial kind of, you know, downtown LA. It's not nice around it, but I think it could be transformed into that if you put in the money um, and stuff to get decorations, flowers and stuff. I think also cool thing, because it's indoors, they have lighting. I feel like the vibe of like the night and the dance floor could be really fun versus some of the outdoor venues. Like you're just kind of dancing and you don't have that like kind of like the lights and stuff. And so I think there's like pros and cons but I definitely want to see like the cost, the cost analysis and stuff and compare it. Another good thing about the Reverie is the restrooms are very nice. I feel like the guests will, will appreciate the luxe bathrooms. They're going to have bathroom attendants um, and that's, that's cool. Okay, I'm going to check out my toast.
everyone. It is the next day and we are going to visit two more venue tours. And I feel like just yesterday was such a roller coaster for the whole wedding planning journey because after we went to the first venue, we we're kind of talking about it. We put a pros and cons list together. And then we had a meeting with a wedding planner, like a consultation. And I think that really helped put things in perspective and made us realize that our current budget for the amount of guests that we had calculated for is very unrealistic for the kind of wedding that we have been envisioning. And so we kind of sat there for like a long while, just like, oh God. And like, it was, it was it's kind of like a struggle of a conversation because I feel like we, we were back at square one. Ryan went home, talked to his parents, and then just kind of caught a vibe. <laughs> So just kind of see what they're thinking. We do prioritize our parents too and like what they're comfortable with and that they're happy. So I think we're gonna go back to our plan, our original plan of having two different days. One Chinese banquet where it's gonna be like at a Chinese restaurant and those are more like you just pay for the food. Um, and then we'll invite all of our family from both sides. And then we'll have a smaller wedding for our friends. Um, and I think that will definitely help out with budget. We're gonna see two venues today and kind of ask them what they think and how much the cost difference is. Ultimately, oh my goodness, it's been, uh, it's been a lot. It's really hard because I think we are taking into account people. Like I think a lot of people online, they're like, I have what your parents say, you know, like just do whatever. But that's not really, that's not aligned with our, our values and just what we want out of it. So I think, um, hopefully going back to this thing will be better and i think for the smaller wedding we're really thinking okay what do we want and it's really really hard and even my therapist who i just started seeing and have been talking a lot about like wedding and stuff she was kind of saying like every time she asks me a question i keep bouncing back to what someone else might think or what someone else might feel and she's like what do you want and i was like shoot i don't know like it's it's hard sometimes because I don't solely think about what I want because I'm always considering what other people might think or feel and so it was really like a mindset shift to think huh what do I want what do we want and how can we prioritize that for the smaller wedding that we are paying for so that's that we're probably gonna book a partial planner I just kind of deviated and we're gonna just hopefully have more consultations because every consultation every like tour every little thing that we've had has been a really good learning process. It's helping us learn about this. I feel like the series is gonna be so long. I don't know if you all want all the rambles or if you want just the venue tours. I'm gonna give you both. I'll put timestamps so it's easier to navigate. And yeah. So here the vibe is going to go past it. We feel so much better than how we felt going. Yeah. Going to the reverie yesterday. Vibes so good. I caught it. Just so proud I get to be your dad. Straight from my weakness, the warmth when I'm cold. Through my sunshine, the food that feeds my soul. I'm gonna thank you the best that I about the vibes it's kind of hot because like the, yeah that it won't be that cold once again yeah. it might be hot but it'll be a little bit yeah initial thoughts i just feel better here than yesterday like just the yes 
more aesthetic mm -hmm. without having they haven't done any yeah and you don't yeah you, you just like a little flower is like good you know this is beautiful yeah i'm glad we came and took a look at this i know good idea wow some things that i don't like is mm -hmm. like seeing so many cars and like houses run across yeah it doesn't feel private it won't right. feel private it won't feel right. private yeah it's like very busy like yeah. people will come to the beach people will like yeah it's busy it won't feel private and i kind of feel like this place is a little tight to me <laughs> how does it feel <laughs> gorgeous right here like how did they like the trees just perfectly like you know opening it up ample parking which is great we're kind of on a hill it feels more like it feels quieter more private for sure this one is like uh is it primarily indoor Outdoor, indoor. This guy is so excited. This guy is so excited. Okay, so it'd be up here. It's just such a fresh, open vibe, but like contained for ourselves only. Yeah. Wow, look at the freeway. The chance it feels like we're sharing the space. Yeah. Reverie felt like there's no views and we have to. Yeah. There's a lot of pressure to make it look nice. I feel like we didn't even talk for that long. I feel so tired, huh? Uh, all this area looks really pretty. Oh, breezy. Oh, yes. Yeah, well, we, we squeezed in an additional one, and all of a sudden, I feel like all the energy we just used. Boom. But at this last venue, okay, they asked, like, what do we do for work? And I said, like, oh, I do social media marketing, but I also, like, teach. And she's like, oh, teachers get a discount. And we're like, Oh damn! Yeah, I do teach in the summers. Forty-five off. And then I was like, "Do you know how much?" She's like, "Oh, like sometimes like forty-five percent off the package." And I, I tried to keep a straight face, but both of us were like, "Wait, forty-five percent off?" But I know it's because they're like thinking of like all the vendors. So we'll see. We'll see. Y'all, we are tired. We have food coma and people. How to say like just tired from people social interactions, especially when we're like touring these places. Yeah, Eden. our social battery is so gone. I just want to sit, but we got one more, one more venue. Uh, yeah. This feels That's like a totally country. different area, huh? Oh yeah, here it is. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa. Whoa. Wow, this just oh. feels... Oh yeah. What? Oh yeah. Yeah, the blue girl in the field. Oh. I see cars here. Oh yeah, oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, is she just an auntie? Wow, we're at our last location for today. And we literally just drove five minutes from where we're at. And it we, just We feels... went from like downtown to like farm. Farm. Also this very parking private. is interesting. Yeah. And also that turn into here yeah. was weird. It was kind of like all of a sudden it's here, boom. Yeah. To our house. And also dull yellows. Yeah. Okay, so we're walking in. That is the house. 
and the then Swanner house. the Swanner house. So walking in here, this looks like parking, right? Yeah. Okay. So a lot like, of I like these rocks. A lot of parking, but yeah, it's, it's rocked. Everywhere we felt we've been has felt so different, which I think is kind of cool. So we can kind of see the different. Like everywhere's been different. Even yeah. in the same like the same two mile radius. Yes. Mm -hmm. Which is wild. But I can't help but focus on the things I can't control. All the way here. First is this point five. Behind, I know there's a silver this looks kind of nice. I see. I'll do one point. All the cold and sleepless nights. Running out of ways to fight. I know there's more. I can imagine our aunt taking a picture on this fountain. Oh. If I keep buying time. I stopped going out to bars. I quit smoking. Thought that giving that all up would keep me going. I got over people, please. We're starting to feel allergic reactions. I think there's a lot of olive trees here, like that. And I'm quite severely allergic to olive trees and the pollen. And I'm feeling a little weird. I stopped going out to bars, I quit smoking. Thought that giving that all up would keep me going. I got over people pleasing. I quit falling into love that had no meaning. Wow, that's such a beautiful little view. Without some never know. Me. But I can't help but focus on the things I can't control. All the darkness in my mind, pain that I can't leave behind. I know there's a silver line that I can't see. All the cold and sleepless nights, running out of ways to fight. I know there's a morning light in my reach. If I keep buying time. There's a storm inside my dreams I'm still standing on two feet Let the current carry me When the water gets too deep All the darkness in my mind Pain that I can't leave behind I know there's a silver line that I can't see the cold and sleepless nights running out of ways to fight I know there's a morning light in my reach if I keep buying time then you got your pulling here. Wow. hello yeah if only there wasn't olive trees or if only I wasn't allergic to olive trees pulling mirror Ta -da. wow yeah. that's cool huh? I know Wow! Oh. <laughs> wow! I know, I'm I, shocked. <laughs> Wait, do these look ripe? I think these look more ripe. Ooh, those little ones are cute too, down here. Here is the Swanner house. Ooh. Wow, this is like a 360. It's actually really, really beautiful. And once you're in the backyard, it doesn't feel as noisy. The olive tree is my concern, but I'm hoping that an Allegra can help. And I feel like there is flexibility here, which is nice. So, yay! What are you gonna do when there's a huge olive tree right there? We officially finished all of our venue tours today. We were supposed to go to two, we snuck in a third one, and we're done. Wow. Good job. Day. I'm hooped. Initial thoughts Tired. on this last house? Really nice. Tired. The the tour that uh, Michelle took us on, it I made really him change yeah. one eighty. He yeah. was like ready to leave before we even did the tour because we were like starting to feel the allergies from the olive tree, and he was like, "Should we just leave right now?" I was like, "Well." And then she gave me champagne, and then she's. It was the champagne that got you. Yeah. They're good. Um, They're good. Of all these places, the outside is what's getting me. Yeah. So, As in like you like the outside? Yeah, the outside. Yeah. The inside of this house, I mean, it's not going to be part of the wedding. Like, but it's nice to know that adds, we have like a, a place yes, to retreat. Yes, And like multiple rooms. Right, so. and I like it like because opposite of the, the last one, Grey Matter, the furniture doesn't mess up the aesthetics of the place that we'll actually be in. 
Yeah. Right? Whereas that one I felt like it was like in the in the space. Yeah, we got some we got some thinking to do, but I think we saw a total of four so far and it's a it's been a good four very different vibes of all the different venues. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for driving. Thank you for coming along with Woo. us. And this is gonna be one long vlog. Hope you all enjoyed it. We'll keep you updated. I don't even know when I'll post this because I feel like we, I shouldn't post it before we book our venue. Because what if someone comes and books our day? <laughs> Bye. I'm happy that we got to come because it feels like we just went on a big date. Like it's tiring, but we explored a new city that we've never been to. We were able to eat really good food. It was so good. Yeah. Yeah, it was Filipino great. Fusion. Yes. It was great. Lunch. And um, I just feel like, yeah, it was just some good quality time that we got to spend with each other. It takes a lot of a social battery to, you know, meet new people and like have to try to make a good impression. Yeah, everyone thinks that we're both extroverted, but trust me, we are not. Um, yeah, we're not even talking on the way home until I'm recording. <laughs> 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 anyway, I just wanted to tell you all that because I think all I said was, oh, we're tired, we're tired. But truly, um, there were moments of today where we were just like, wow, this feels really nice to be walking around and just the weather was beautiful. The city, the scenery, everything was just really nice. And yeah, it's a nice little date day. It was fun. Yay. Yeah, it was good. We were, uh, I ended up cut. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. He said cut. Hello. It is venue shopping day three, and today we are off to <laughs> running on a few hours of sleep. I did a community cleanup. He did a bunch of little tasks this morning. Yeah, cleaned up the house. And we'll see how it goes. We're about to head home. First of all, it just felt like um, a really fun date day. We were just saying we finished eating thanks to their two free appetizers. So much food and we just feel yeah really good about this place and i was about to kiss the chair dream goodbye those wooden crossback chairs but this place has them for free included and so i'm just really excited because the vision that i originally had like before when i would like uh kind of see weddings that stood out to me and that i thought looked pretty it matches this vibe and it's, it's deviated like I've, i feel like i have three different styles of like things that i like but um this is definitely one of them and i feel excited about the opportunity that it might fit in our budget we might be able to do this um and that best like, of all worlds ryan was saying it's really important to pay attention to the end-to-end -end, like guest experience too mm -hmm. and it's great free parking ample parking beautiful and easy like views as you're driving in um they can stay the night. The venue we're interested in is tucked away. So getting from the parking lot to the venue, there'll be shuttles mm -hmm. and um, yeah. they'll get you from like yeah. place to place. And then if you need to get something back in your car, they'll take you to it. So yeah. Good job. Thanks Woo. for driving. We were about to cancel this because we were so tired. Honestly, coming here, I was like, I hope, I kind of hope we don't like it because it kind of feels like a far drive for people. <laughs> Guess everyone's gotta make the drive if they love us. <laughs> oh, okay. And we found a venue in the place that we really didn't think so. You know? Yeah. It's crazy how things worked out. Oh yeah, I love how everything is together but separated. It's all just one. Yes. It has a private, the open. 